Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your match reaction. Manchester United 2, Barcelona 1. On aggregate, that is 4-3. We move on to the next round, baby. Let's go. Let's go. So Manchester United have now beaten Barcelona, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, and Man City at Old Trafford this season. That is just insane. This is just insane. Eric Ten Hag's Red Devil are built differently. We are built differently, people. It's an amazing game. I mean, first half, where do I start? Where do I start in this match? I mean, first half, I think we, we were not in the game. We were not in the game first half. Of course, we started off with Wick Holst as a striker. Uh, and we struggled to create any sort of chance. I only remember one chance in that first half. Bruno had one chance. Uh, one on one with the goalkeeper. He hits it on a goalkeeper. But other than that, I, I thought Barcelona dominated the ball possession in that first half. Uh, and, uh, and they got a penalty. I mean, was it a penalty or was it not a penalty? I don't think it was. I really don't think it was. But they... It's been given. It was actually Bruno Fernandez. Uh, he 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 barely touched the defender. I mean, he barely touched the defender. But referee gives a, a penalty in that incident. What you what can you do? What can you do? And Lewandowski steps in, and uh, David De Gea could have made a save. He actually touched it, but Lewandowski scores. And you're thinking, oh my goodness! So we're down one nil at home. What is going to happen? But then in the second half, we made changes. Anthony came in. Uh, for Weghorst and that just completely changed the game we started to play uh, Rashford through the middle and Anthony operating as a uh, as a left winger I mean on the right wing Anthony on the on the left we had uh, Sancho and then behind the striker we start playing Bruno Fernandes which is his best position his best position is uh, is basically a number 10 I really don't get why Weghorst is playing as a number 10 when we have Bruno Fernandes. Why we are accommodating Weghorst and changing people's position, I really don't get it. But it really doesn't matter now. This is this should be a big lesson for Eric Ten Hag. I really don't want to see Weghorst from the starting 11 against uh, Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final. That should not happen because the moment he was taken off, United starts to play better. And we start to create chances. And Fred got a goal uh, right before uh, we, uh, right, uh, right after the second half. Immediately, I mean, instantly, Fred scored that second goal. I mean, the first goal, which tied the game at 1 1. You're thinking, now we can go ahead and win and get that winning goal. And that's exactly what we did. Anthony with a stunning finish. I mean, stunning finish it was initially a pass for from Bruno to Garnacho and then Garnacho's effort gets gets blocked and then Fred's effort gets blocked and then Anthony gets the ball and what a cool cool finish by this guy I mean we've missed him we missed him so much Anthony can give us a lot I mean he gives us a lot uh, to this team from that uh, right hand side position he is the only player with with a left foot that can actually cut inside and shoot like that and that's the reason why we've been missing him because we've been playing players in that position out of position i mean bruno played on the right uh we, we've seen sancho play there sancho could play there but not really his his preferred position but look i mean anthony is back he gave us that massive massive goal which now puts man united uh into the next round 2-1 but what i want to talk about is we haven't used Sabatzer in this game. I thought Casemiro handled everything well uh, in the middle of the park. And we did struggle to get ball possession in the first half, but the second half uh, really gotten better. And we start to play uh, much better, uh, much quicker. And Fred, with his energy and everything, uh, team was solid. Team was solid in the second half. Uh, the way Bruno started the game, I think, um, wasn't good, to be fair. I mean, wasn't good enough in the first half from Bruno Fernandes. I was not happy with every player. I mean, every single player I was not happy with in the first half. Maybe is it because Barcelona dominated the ball and they couldn't get much of the ball? That could be the reason why. But I didn't like what I saw in the first half. But it, it changed completely in the second half. And this is what you need your coaches 
and this is where you need your manager to make a big big difference into the team he made those changes and we managed we managed to win that, uh, that game um looking at the stats really quickly here ball possession you see that 45 percent for man united 55 percent for barcelona attempt wise five uh to united three to barcelona so pretty much it was an even game in terms of chances and, and, and ball possession in total but i thought i thought we looked really bright in the second half uh, uh and deservingly i mean deservingly and got the w here and we move on now people we move on on to the next one now the focus is going to be leicester city that is a big big i mean not leicester city what am i talking about newcastle so newcastle united in the final in the carabao cup that is going to be big that is going to be big that's a massive massive final we win that we're going to get the first trophy for eric ten Hag. it's going to be massive it's going to be massive and what a night and what a tie what an evening it felt like i was watching a champions league game it didn't feel like a europa league game the atmosphere is just electric and crazy crazy game uh before i wrap up i want to really talk about uh defensively i thought um Lissandro martinez did really well um his numbers are just immaculate i mean yeah, 70 percent dual win rate uh, 63 touches all around 35 passes completed uh five out of nine long balls completed four clearances uh five uh four out of five tackles one i mean he's just leaving old trafford with Lewandowski in his pocket people Lewandowski just disappeared except for that penalty Lewandowski didn't do anything in this match and it just goes to show you how defensively we played really well and not to mention rolls royce varan as well rolls royce varan had to had a, a, a goal line clearance i mean that was like in the 90th minute Lewandowski just shoots the ball and passes the David De Gea but then um, Varane clears it with an outstanding tackle that could have been 2-2 and uh, this game could have been in an extra time so this the margins were so close people the margins were really really close in this tie but that's what you would expect this is Barcelona we're talking about this is the team that is leading La Liga and this is the team that is leading uh, Real Madrid in the league think about that Real Madrid just smashed Liverpool you see how strong Real Madrid are and Barcelona are leading that league so it just tells you everything you need to know how difficult this team was and how difficult it was to beat this team but we managed to do it I'm really really so happy that uh, we, we, we've gone through to, to, to the next round and the draw is going to happen and we'll see what's going to happen we'll see what we're going to face i, I want to see the strong teams i want to see juventus i want to see roma i want to see us play arsenal it'll be nice to face the bigger teams and you get that's how you test yourself and it'll be it'll be really exciting to see uh what what the draw is going to look like but uh before i wrap up here man of the match i think anthony deserves a uh, man of the match just for that goal i mean that goal was just insane i don't know a lot of people would have finished it the way anthony just did there he just makes it so easy he makes it he makes it look so easy but it was an incredible finish uh from anthony and for that reason i think ever since he came onto the pitch uh he completely changed the game and it's between F fred and anthony i would just lean towards anthony because fred didn't have a good first half he was he was losing the ball constantly in the first half it's a completely different story in the second half he, he scored a goal and he was winning balls uh he was winning duels i mean he was he was just magnificent so it's been it's between those two players so let me know what you guys think but i would have to go with anthony but do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match and also smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel uh, if you guys are new and definitely man we move on to the next one we move on to the next one and uh yeah i'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching peace